morning, everybody. I have a fun fact. While I'm here, I might as well use this for an educational video. That being said, I didn't know until I started driving trucks that Baltimore is one of the main hubs for port freight. When I say port freight, like you have freight where we deliver it on the highways and the byways, and then you have freight that come from overseas. And by Baltimore, Maryland kind of being on the coast of the water, and it's around a lot of waters, we are definitely known for a lot of international trade. So that being said, they Baltimore, Maryland is actually called, um, it's called Helen DeLitch Bentley. I guess that's like one of the major ports where a lot of, um, I guess a lot of containers come into at. And I'm gonna show you guys one of their ports. Like, you know, I watched the Harriet Tubman movie. You know Harriet Tubman, I think. I could be wrong. I think Harriet Tubman was from Maryland. I could be wrong. Cause she, she left and she ran and escaped. And she was running from Maryland to go to Pennsylvania. So that being said, as messed up as it sounds, Baltimore was, not Baltimore, but Maryland. Maryland was very heavy on slave slave trade back then, which was unfortunate because we are on the seas. We are on the coast, the East Coast at that. So, <coughs> wait a minute, guys. I actually got a little cold. I'm still getting over it. I don't know what's going around, but it's definitely a little cold going around. But that being said, I'm learning about my city. I mean, I knew it. But the more that you are into trucking and years and years go by, you learn so much about logistics. And obviously this is one, so look. This is one of the ports. Every time I'm in Maryland, I'm either picking up from a port or I'm near a port. So anytime you see a truck with a container, they, they got it from a port or the port shipped it to a shipper and now it's a truck driver's job such as myself to deliver it to a receiver so we baltimore maryland or maryland in general like that time where california is another one too because they're on the west coast of the coast when you're talking about a coast like you have the whole America and then you got the middle of America, the top of America, the south of America, and then east and west. But so the top, the bottom and the side, those are embodied or accompanied by the waters, the seas, you know, cause after you get to the end of the east and west coast, you get to the top of the north, you get to the bottom of the south, where else can you go but travel to another country? So that being said, that's where the freight from the seas come into the ports. So anywhere, most likely, where it's on that edge, most likely got a port for entry. So that's why it's good to have your Twit card because even if you're a company driver or owner operator or whatever, most of the times you can't even pick up their freight unless you have a Twit card or you pay a certain fee to to enter but if you got your twin car you don't have to pay anything so i thought i'd just share that because yeah it was one time where ports were suffering because i believe we went on strike with china and you know a lot of our stuff come from china i'm realizing a lot of stuff come from russia a lot of stuff come from russia ukraine all that stuff so anytime our governments is, is not doing what they supposed to do with the allies over there. We fill it immensely with ports. <laughs> and I think I could, I could be wrong, but I believe we had that falling out with China. And, or, uh, you know what? Port workers, port workers went on strike. And I guess the people that is responsible for operating the ships Maybe they wasn't getting paid or I don't know. It's always a pay strike. 
because truck drivers really don't get treated right. Sometimes our monies get stolen. It's a lot of stuff that go into trucking that a lot of people don't know. That's why on my on my side, I do my best to show y'all everything, at least the stuff I'm going through. So that was one time where, because you know, those containers, they're on a ship and whoever's operating the ship has to bring them back to whatever port that they're assigned to. So I think some of the containers was falling into the ocean and some of them left the boat stranded. At that time, some boats got left stranded in the waters. And then when they would get the containers here, the whole port itself, the workers at the port was on strike because I think they wasn't getting paid. So they refused to work. And then people at the ports refused to work. You can literally crumble trucking. Because honestly, these ports is the number one step to dispersing a uh, shipment because a lot of times the stuff starts with the containers and from the containers it go to the warehouses and from the warehouses it go to a dry van or a reefer like it gets dispensed starting from most of the time from the port unless it's made here in the United States so never sleep on a port worker never sleep on a port itself because if these ports stop operating, America will crumble and trucking will crumble. So my load is ready, but I thought I'd share this with you guys. I thought that would be like an educational rant. So you guys have a beautiful day. Deuces.